types of lizards that people most commonly eat are the green iguana, black iguana, gecko, green anole, brown anole, and skinks. But not agamas. Hmm. Welcome to another wild adventure with the wild game. I'm excited about today's video, but I'm also not excited about it. I just spent a bunch of time on YouTube trying to find a video of somebody eating a red-headed agama. It's not there. Everybody's eating these iguanas in South Florida. What about the agamas? Can you eat those? For the iguana video we did, I found a two-piece surf rod that I had in my shed. Uh, it's 10 foot long. We made a snare out of 80 pound mono and basically just tied it to the tip and then made a loop, put the loop through itself, snared some iguanas. You guys could go watch that video. The uh, 80 pound is gonna be kind of thick for these smaller lizards, so I'm gonna switch up my snare to uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon. It'll be smaller and it'll slip easier and hold easier. So I'm gonna change that out and then we're gonna go lizard hunting. We got our uh, improved snare and I was just thinking, you know, it's like, hey, I'm gonna go do this video, but I actually have to uh, catch one of these suckers first to eat it and they're not easy. They are super, super sketchy. We're gonna see if I can get within 10 foot of them with a snare and make it happen. Getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it, but I was curious this morning if anybody's ever eaten a red-headed agama lizard. It's an invasive species here in Florida. There's tons of videos about iguanas, about hunting them. No one's eaten one. I'm gonna go catch a red-headed agama lizard, hopefully, and I'm gonna cook it and I'm gonna eat it, and then YouTube will be complete. So the next person that's wondering about it will have a real honest review what it's like and if you can eat them. No, Jim. I googled it and they said you cannot eat the lizards. Hey Google, do people eat lizards often? According to Healthline, lizards are a popular delicacy in many parts of the world. They are generally safe to eat when cooked properly. Now that I've decided I'm gonna do it, I need to find one. I've seen them in this area before walking the sidewalk next to our shop. So Hopefully, I can get eyes on one. There's one of the burrows, and I just saw a baby running there. It's a little cloudy today. When it's sunny, they're, they're out and about more, so we'll stick with it and we're gonna find one. These are harder to catch than I thought. There's a tiny one in there. You can see, oh, he just jumped. There he goes. He's too small to eat anyway. Let's go find a bigger one. We're gonna need some help if we're gonna be able to find one of these. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Have you guys seen any redheaded agama lizards? <laughs> Where are they? I'm trying to find one. Across the street. Okay, we found some. Now we just gotta try to catch them. They are sketchy. There's a big one under this board. That's not our target species, but uh, that's another non-native lizard. Big old fat dog. These things are super sketchy. I have a 10 foot snare and I can't get within 20 feet of them. I almost had that one under that board, but he uh, made a run for it. Where are you going? They run that way. Huh? I'm gonna, if you lift it just a little bit, they don't run. I can put my hand under and try to grab them. That is just You're gonna go on the back side. Oh, All right, listen, you have to lift, you have to lift this so 
Jimmy, tiny bit. I don't want him touching me. You have what to. Do you not understand it. It's not going to touch you. Tiny lift. You don't understand Listen. that I will literally fall to the ground. <laughs> He's not going to get you. Tiny lift. Slow. Whoa, whoa, too much. I gotta look. Oh! For him. Stop, I gotta find him. No, he's thumping. I know he's thumping. He's thumping and I don't like I'm lifting it. Hold on, I, I see him. He's over here now. Okay. You ready? You're not gonna let him touch me, are you? Nope. You are? I'm not gonna let him. Let's just poke a hole right here. No, just lift it slow. Little head pop out. Lift it slow. Oh god, he's over here. Where? Right in here. You don't, don't see him? No. Oh yeah, don't move. Stop, down, 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 down. Don't let him out. Ah! Please don't eat him. Jimmy, please don't eat him. Jimmy, please don't eat him. We gotta eat him. No. <laughs> that is a red-headed agama. Invasive species to Florida. Covered in spikes. He's got some nice meat on his legs. Will you try the meat? I'm gonna save his life right now. Ah! <laughs> That's a lie. To bite me? No. Yeah, for Please. the YouTube. No. Okay, I'll do it for YouTube. No! <laughs> I'm not super excited about eating it, but I am super excited that we got one. Can you eat them? And are they good? We're gonna go home and we're gonna cook an agama. So when this all started, I did as much research as I could trying to figure out why there's not a YouTube video of somebody eating one of these. Um, I Googled it. Are they poisonous? Is there a danger other than normal stuff? You know, cook it well done. It's fine. Um, they're not protected. They're invasive. It's not against the law. I can't figure it out. I mean, there's not a lot of meat on them, but whatever. So there's one more thing I'm going to try. I'm friends with one of the leading experts in uh, non-native lizards. He goes by Iguana Man on YouTube. His name is Raj, and uh, he's a buddy of mine, so we're gonna try him. Raj, what's up, Iguana Man? Hey, nothing much, James. <laughs> I'm, I'm hanging inside for the day, man. What's going on? Man? There you go. Hey, listen, I um, I just caught my first red-headed agama, and I'm trying to figure out if this is something that's good to eat. Have you ever eaten one? It's safe, right? Like, nothing nothing to worry about? So it should be, you know, it should be uh, pretty, pretty safe. You know all right but like i said i've never tried it before so you know um i couldn't really tell you you know all right dude i'm going for it you want me to save you a leg or nah <laughs> <laughs> hey uh maybe next time man maybe next time <laughs> if i make a trip up there man all right cool thanks for answering we'll talk soon all right all right see ya this is so new to me i'm just taking this step by step i mean it's just like skinning a baby alligator right now that i've got this thing i got to figure out how to get the skin off and how I'm going to cook it. My first impression is that the meat is super light. The tail went from fat and meaty to like all bones. So I trimmed that off, trimmed the feet off, took the head off, eviscerated it. Reminds me a little bit of a skinned squirrel or a little tiny alligator. Next step is to cook this thing. Let's go throw a little seasoning on it and put it on the grill. All right, so we're just gonna throw this guy on the grill, some Everglades seasoning, and we're gonna see what it tastes like. Well, that looks perfect. Your fire-roasted red-headed agama, prepared to your liking. Ah, thank you. I put my dinner jacket on because this is a momentous occasion. It's very rare to find something that has not been done on YouTube. So we're making history. I was genuinely curious if you could eat these things. Well, we're about to find out. For the first time in history, someone's going to eat a red-headed agama on the YouTube. Hmm. Not much flavor at all. Definitely not bad. Hmm. Tastes like frog legs. That was the leg meat. Let's try front leg, see if there's any difference. Like a little baby chicken wing, little gama wing. 
Front leg actually has a little bit different flavor. It tastes more like a squirrel. Tail meat. Ooh. The tail meat's really, really, really good. It's too bad their tails aren't fatter. All right, I'm gonna compare this to a few things. Softer, more delicate than alligator, and less flavor. If I was gonna compare it to a squirrel, almost equal um, in texture, less flavor. Anybody would eat this and nobody would have, there's no off-putting flavor, there's no, there's no negatives to it, other than that it's a creepy little nasty lizard. A gamma backstrap. So this is actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. If you guys can think of something that can legally be hunted that has not been done on YouTube, comment below. I will make it happen. I'm all about it. I'm already thinking of my next lizard or my next critter I'm gonna eat. So uh, I'm gonna sit here and finish my agama and you guys are gonna hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.